Okay, first step is I'm going to clean it in the spin clean, which by itself is a fantastic cleaner. So, come back the other way. Alright, so for all intents and purposes, that is a clean record. And we can actually take it out, dry it off, and play it as is. This step can be noisy, so I always use earplugs. You got to protect your ears. Otherwise, uh, what's the point in cleaning records if you can't hear them? So, you got to protect your ears. This is just a simple Bella ice cream maker. I got it for $10 from Goodwill. You can actually buy them brand new off of Amazon for $10. And initially I had all the guts of the motor and everything out of this. And I put it back in. Had, why make it harder than it has to be? Got a donor turntable off of a old Panasonic. And I just used the ice cream tub, threaded a quarter inch rod up to the middle, and that thing is ready to go. So when I turn it on, it turns. It turns at about 17 RPM, which is nice and slow. It's not going to sling any cleaning fluid off, and uh, it's good. The clamp is just a wood disc. It's the perfect size to protect the label from Hobby Lobby for about 40 cents. Got it clamped down, we're going to turn it on. Use a VPI brush and Mobile Fidelity Sound Labs Super Record Wash. Alright, we've got both sides clean and dry, so now we're ready for the last step, which is Groove Glide. I use Groove Glide, I'm sold on it. Some people don't like it, some people swear by it, and I swear by it. So, per the instructions, we're just a couple sprays, touch them together, turn it on again. Your patience, and then Wipe it the opposite direction. Flip it over, groove glide the other side, and you're done. There you go. Super clean, super beautiful, and you've got a, in this case, a almost 40 year old record that looks like it was made yesterday. See how it sounds. <laughs>